friends that get you scratch off tickets or lottery cards as gifts ever? Only my parents. Oh, your parents do that? They do it for all the grandchildren. So they instill in them very early to gamble. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At the age of 10, they show them that, you know, love is a scratch off ticket. Well, my girlfriend, Liz, she's really into that. Like, that's her thing. She will get you scratch off tickets like for your birthday, for Christmas, any holiday, whatever the gift is. There's always a card. And there's always scratch off tickets in it. Here is my question to you. If somebody gets you a lottery card or scratch-off ticket and you win, do you have to pay them anything? You should, but it's a present. So I don't think you're obligated to. But does it matter how much it was? Like, okay, so if I win $2, obviously they're not expecting me to give them $2. But what if I win $50,000? What if they hand me a scratch-off ticket and I win $50,000? I think anything under a million, you shouldn't. Shouldn't split. Shouldn't split. Anything over a million, so let's say you win a million, yeah, you should give them some. Because if you won $50,000, you're going to pay taxes on them. And that's that's like a, a 48% hit. Right. Okay, I understand that, but I'm still going to get, so if I win $50,000, I'm still going to get a, a huge chunk of change. I shouldn't give them anything? No. Because it's a present. But I think the present was like, you know, ha, 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 here's $5 or here's $100. I don't think they were expecting me to win $50,000. I mean, I didn't, but I was wondering, like, if I did, because that's the top prize on one of the things that Liz gave me. Mm -hmm. I was like, what if I win the $50,000? Like, does does she expect me to split it with her or give her a finder's fee? Or is it just, that's it, that's your gift. Your gift is $50,000. It's the most generous thing I've ever given anybody. (laughs) Well, when the, when the parents give the grandchildren things, they win 20 bucks, 100 bucks. They don't give the cut. They don't give the vig back to the grandparents. <laughs> well, that's because it's grandparents, though, because it's grandparents. Grandparents would give you the shirt off their back in the middle of no, a winter mine. storm. Not my parents. Okay, well, not yours, but most grandparents would. This right. is a friend. That's why I'm saying, like, if it was my mother... I'd be like, whatever I win is mine. Sorry, sorry, Biatch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still sucking off that teat. Sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but no. So what? But what if it's a friend? That's what I'm talking about. Like, if your friend gives you a lottery ticket and you win big, I mean, should you, okay. So before you give a friend a lottery ticket, should you have an agreement with them? Is a verbal agreement enough? Should you, you like hand somebody a lottery ticket and have them sign something afterwards that says, if you win a million, we split it? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's like giving somebody a six pack of beer and then taking a, a one beer away and only really giving them five. No, it's not. No, because beer is not that expensive. If you give them a six pack of beer. That's a cheap gift. It's more like it's more like giving somebody a fleet of cars and then taking one back. If they're going to give you, as a joke, ah, ha, 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 this is the only thing I can afford, I gave you a $2 scratch-off ticket, then no, they ain't getting nothing. Sorry. Go tread mm-hmm. water. Get out of here. You get nothing. All right. In that case, I will scratch them off in peace. <laughs> yeah, don't even scratch them off in front of them. Just go, ah, oh, thanks, and then take it home. No, I never do. She lives in California. She sent them to me by mail. She got me uh, New York ones when she was here and sent them to me by mail. Would it be terrible of me if I lied about it? Like, let's say I won five grand or 50 grand, you know? What if I just said, ah, yeah, we didn't win? Yeah. It's not like it's not like it's a it's not like it's the Powerball where it gets announced or your pictures everywhere. It's not like you mm-hmm. know you want a hundred million and suddenly like there's my face on the cover of every newspaper. No, how, she's not going to know what I want or how much I want. So maybe I don't got to say nothing. She's in another state. Game on. She no, you don't tell her okay. anything. I don't even think she's going to bring it up to you. Hey, did you? Because you're not going to say, did you scratch that off? Did you win anything? She's not going to bring it up. So you just don't bring it up. Just stop talking to her. (laughs) Just end my friendship. Block her phone call. Yeah. (laughs) So she had, she was kind enough to give me a couple of scratch off tickets. I win $50,000 and my response is to unfriend her everywhere. (laughs) To to block her. Yeah. (laughs) Block her. Because then you could say I was pissed that you only spent two bucks on me and I spent like 25 bucks on you. You're cheap. So I blocked you. 
No, no, she gives it in the card with the gift. You get a gift, but then with the card, you you also get scratch off tickets. But see, but here's the here's the problem with it. If it were me, if I gave her scratch off tickets, think about this. You give somebody a scratch off ticket mm -hmm. and it wins fifty thousand dollars. Wouldn't you want some of that? No, because I gave it to you as a gift. I want my goal is for you to win fifty thousand dollars. That's what I had in mind when I gave you the ticket. I hope you win. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. It's not like I hope you win and I hope I win too because you should give me some. I would charge a finder's fee. I'd be like, I hope you win, and if you win the fifty thousand, I'm taking ten. You would hope they would give you a little bit back, but it's not, there's no obligation. I don't think they would give me anything. That, that's This is how friendships end, over money. You know, I mean, I once lent a friend $70. That's it, $70. And I never asked for it back because I just assumed that she would give it to me at some point or whatever. She just stopped talking to me. I'm like, okay, so she's my friendship cost $70. That's all it was worth to her. Yeah, it costs like five grand to whack somebody. I mean, 50 grand? <laughs> <laughs> that's a big chunk of change. That, 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 that's worth cutting off a friendship right there. People are weird when it comes to money and friendship. They really are.